I'm going to show how to simulate a simple circuit in Mason using the TinyCAD interface and how to plot the results. First we're going to select the Mason library which has the control elements for the run. Flags for the output and some other run control elements. I'm going to change the output frequency format to gigahertz which just controls the S parameter file we put out. I'm going to uh, change the frequency start to 1 gigahertz so we run from 1 to 10 gigahertz and 100 megahertz steps. I'm going to put down a uh, ground that I'm going to need in my circuit later and I'm going to put down an input port and an output port. Mason is a general end port simulator. One to however many you want. I'm going to place an inductor whose model is based on the S parameter files provided by Colecraft. This part references multiple files which the optimizer can choose from if we set that up for the value. I'm just going to select the value to be 3, which corresponds to a 2 nanohenry inductor, which points to that file. I'm going to place a capacitor whose model is dynamically generated based on the value we give it. Need to change the orientation. I need to shift the value so I can edit the box. This uh, no opt tells the optimizer we don't want to vary the value for now. Right now it's set not to optimize, but if it did, it would go from 1 picofarad to 15 picofarad and steps of 1 picofarad. You can use units here. This is just an old video that I'm dubbing over. Now I'm going to connect up the circuit. I'm going to add names to the nets which is important if you want to generate an output to pads and you want to be able to hook this into the layout. Every part needs a unique reference designator. We're going to automatically generate this using Mason. We're going to use all sheets, which we only have one sheet now, but we're going to save the design. Technically, when you run Mason, it will prompt you to save. We're going to run Mason. It's running a little slow just because we're doing the video capture. We're going to throw up a plot. This is the old plotting routine. We have a more advanced plotting program now. But it still has the ability to put in equations, the same sort of equations that MooParser allows. The new version has more plot controls for the XY axis in particular. You can now open existing S parameter files. You can plot up to six graphs. If you want to see plots in different windows, you can run the plot program multiple times. In addition to doing rectangular plots, you can also do Smith chart plots. I'll mention the only difference between log and arg are the default equations that come up. They're both the same sort of rectangular plot. Here I'm copying to the clipboard. You can paste that into whatever presentation program you need. Next I'll open the console output. This is the text you see when Mason runs, but sometimes it scrolls by too quickly. It includes information like file names that it's writing out to, or sometimes errors that can be useful for debugging problems if you have them in the code. 